I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. He suffered death and was buried. When we take the trouble to stand up in public and say that something is true, we do so because its truth needs to be asserted. We know that there are people who don't believe it, or won't believe it, or can't believe it. It was clearly not right that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God the Son, the Son of the living God, should suffer on the cross. More than that, according to any normal person, person's notion of what is decent behavior, no really good and loving father would ever have allowed such a thing to happen. A loving father certainly would not have sent his son into the world to suffer and to die. Any reasonable person knows better than that. Some people have tried to make out that the God of the Old Testament was not a good God, like the God Jesus referred to as the Father in the New Testament. But we have already professed our faith, our belief in one God, the Father Almighty. If anything needs to be adjusted, it's not the truth of what happened at the crucifixion, but our notions of what is decent or tolerable. Jesus Christ, God the Son, the second person of the Trinity, became a human being. He was like us in all things except sin. His life on earth was dedicated to taking on humanity. His strategy, if we may call it that, which was forged by his 40 days in the desert, was to confront evil with goodness, lies with the truth, hatred with love. He went through with that determination all the way. That was the only way that humanity could be lived in truth, always returning good for evil. And if the price of that truth included suffering and death, then suffering and death was the price that had to be paid. Jesus suffered death and was buried. Now for most, pe for most people of the time, that was the end of the story of Jesus, full stop. Now and then, as a spiritual exercise, it's worth trying to imagine that we're back in the time of the disciples and to see what they saw at the time. We see the death of Jesus in the light of the resurrection, but they didn't see it like that at the time. As far as they knew, Jesus was dead and he will be dead forever and ever. Looking back on it all, we know that something more happened, but the disciples living through it did not. It's worth reflecting on this because to just recite quickly as we usually do, he suffered death and was buried and rose again, as if it were just a smooth matter-of-fact progression through the events, means skating over the real shock of what happened. The resurrection doesn't mean much if you just make it the next item on a list of events. And that's the topic for the next talk. <laughs>